and smoke vision up here very fast. 3485. Luckily, he gave me his thinner part of his armor to shoot at. I don't want to fight that thing. Definitely will shoot at you. Tiger. I'm just in time. I'll have to shoot the barrel out in this t -Gor. Missed it. Oh no, we're in trouble. Okay, he won't be able to shoot for a second or two. Oh, so oh, uh, I <laughs> I pushed up too far, I think. We did pretty well considering. Okay. Bomb should be good. Yep. Thing coming in. Okay, you got some crits on him. Every time you put holes in him, makes him a little bit slower. And there's a fire. I don't feel so bad about that fire. A little bit of damage to us, we're okay. That is my. Yeah, looks like one. Hyphens on him as well. Bust him on fire, he's in trouble. There goes a wing. Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be revisiting the T14. And although I don't want to be repetitive in doing content, this was a complete accident. Initially the plan was to take out the P47D22RE, this is the Razorback, and I took the T14 out thinking that I would get a quick couple of kills, maybe a cap or two, we'll get in our plane and we'll start doing some damage. But as unscripted content goes, Sometimes you just get a couple of games in a specific vehicle and I just can't not upload it. And the T14, out of all of the vehicles that have been buffed due to volumetric changes, this one has had one serious kick up the backside. I have seen a lot of people complain about this tank being strong at the moment and hopefully doing this we'll be able to teach you how to take this thing out. Let's first of all show you where to shoot this thing if you do encounter it. From the side, absolutely do not shoot this thing in the side of the turret. This is quite a lot of armour and at most times you won't have a direct shot here. The best thing you can do is shoot it here. There's only 55mm of armour here, even these little track blocks that kind of surround it. With most guns at this battle rating, you'll still go through those and you'll still one shot the tank. And from the front, intuition would tell you obviously to go for this little flat spot here but it's so difficult to get a shot on it. The best thing you can do is hit it right here. There's only 52 millimeters of armor here and there's nothing really behind it either. The effective thickness here, 52 millimeters, is very weak. Just aim for the machine gun port itself. Make sure you don't go too far left or you'll start intersecting bits and pieces of armor and if you are not confident going for this, even here will do it. But anywhere else is just a complete no-go. On the turret cheeks here, we are very chungus with armor. On the sloped upper front plate, most things just won't go through this thing at all. On this cast bit here, is a bit of a lottery. And if we move around the side, yeah, we've got spaced armor all around here, overlapping pieces that really mess with the volumetric shell change. And of course, we've got 63 millimeters of armor on there. If this thing is angled, wait until it looks towards you before you take a shot on it. Now, let's talk about playing this thing. Angling is what you need to do. And more so angling your turret than angling your armor. With all the things that I've said with the weak spots etc. Angling your turret is the main thing you need to do. Whenever you're being shot at, make sure you angle a turret in a way that you cannot get shot here in your mantlet. The best thing you can really do is wiggle. Now, whenever I say these things, just bear in mind this won't guarantee 100% success all of the time. Most of the enemies you will be defeating are people who don't understand how to take this thing out. And even for experienced players like myself and many many others who are much better at the game than me, this thing is still easy meat, so you really have to work to get your kills for the most part. 
Now moving on to the armament, this thing has the M3 75mm that most tanks in the American Tech Tree have at this battle rating and just below. This is a very mediocre cannon for the battle rating we'll be playing at, especially if we get up tiered to 5.3. So my recommendation is, take out mostly M61 shot, but make sure you've got some APCR with you as well. Sometimes you'll come up against Tigers and you can go through their front armour, given the fact that they're not angled. But to add on top of the capability of the cannon, we still have our stabiliser, which is now effective up to 24 kilometers an hour. We have a 5.3 second reload. This thing can brawl really, really well. Now, we won't be seeing much of the Razorback in this video, but don't worry. In the next couple of days, I will definitely have some sort of cast montage, some one and dones done for this thing. It's a very nice plane for ground RB, and in my opinion, probably the nicest looking P47 in the game. And to me personally, Aesthetics is everything. What a beautiful aircraft. Alright, let's hop into some games. Right, here we are on Berlin. I've not been here for a little while. I'm not sure the battle rating, I didn't really check to be honest. I think this is actually 4-0 or 4-3. This is going to be the most of our worries. Also got the rust keys as well. I've loaded up some APCR just in case. There's somebody all the way up on the... Bad kills already, excuse me. I'm not a fan of this spawn point. Much prefer the other side. Don't get much freedom over this side. And of course this map is just completely brown. So it's not very nice to look at either. Okay, we're getting Vaseline out of here. That'll be a flag bus, looks like. Um, some sort of Sherman here too. I have to be worried he can actually damage me, this guy. Oh, a little bit too high and a little bit too low at the same time. There's a flag bus right there. I think I can hit this guy. This is commander and driver out at least. Shooting through the mud. Totally normal things for War Thunder. There he goes. Oh, ace crew. That was a fast shift. Full agility. Oh, flag bus. Tracked him at least. Oh, he's getting hammered with a... <laughs> he's getting hammered with a calliope. Wow, that was laggy. Got a transmission out. Oh yeah, that calliope's lagging out my controls. Pretty badly, actually. I've lost that puma now. Alright, flag bus is dead. I'm not sure which one. Probably the one that's... The furthest away, actually. That's an interesting way to go, Mr. KV2. I've never seen that before. I'm impressed. Oh, there's a Puma. Why is no one shot at this guy other than me? KV2's died. There's an all out brawl going on over that cat. I can't remember if we got smoke shells on off of this thing. This is perhaps a bit too cocky what I'm doing. However, it might pay off. High risk, high reward. <laughs> With this Calliope, he's having the time of his life. Oh no. Hello Churchill. Can't get a good shot on his cheek. There we go. Okay, Panzer 4G just exploded into a massive fireball. Stuck here. Maybe his loader. I'm trying to get his ammo. And he's backing up now. I 
There we go. Churchill's back. Angle though. Okay. There's one more left in this cap. Oh yes there is. Not anymore though. He's dead too. Right. Cap is ours. Got some angry enemies coming back at us. No doubt we're gonna get bombed in a second. And artillery. Right, where's the stig at? Dead. <laughs> right, okay. Wait, right, I think that's uh Oh another flag bus here. Yep, that got uh, our transmission pretty hard. Make sure he doesn't go anywhere. Think how can I pen him? Interesting. There he goes, hull break. Let's get this transmission repaired. I need to really watch that right hand side TV2. Oh, oh, well, it was nice knowing y'all. Never mind we got him. <laughs> I still love the 75. All but gold. There we go. Here come the boomers. We get another angle over here. Yes, this is where we want to be. Although I can't see anything now because that bomb drop. Where did this guy go? I definitely seen a tank over here. There he is. Oh, he's pulling off some stunts there. Oh, great shot on his turret. I'm not going to get another shot on him right now. Maybe. He can damage his engine. That would be good. Not quite. Little fire we can push him. He's gone. Right. There's a heavy tank fighting this Cromwell over this side. There's no need for me to hang around that cap. My team's kind of bolstering over there now as well. I'd really like to get rid of some of this anti air. This dog's driving away from me. And we got the ammo that sits in the back of his engine. That was not what I was aiming for, but we'll definitely take it. Another flag bus. We're bully Bob. I will execute that with impunity. <laughs> I hate those things. There goes the flag bus. Right, there was one other thing over here. He's been here the entire game. I want to find him. Or maybe not. Maybe he's been killed already by this Cromwell. Um. No, he's still here. He is still here. Stug. Where's a Stug 3G? He's hiding in there somewhere? Oh. Is that a Chaffee? Yes. It was a Chaffee. This Stug's definitely around here somewhere. Oh, he's on the Valentine. Are we careful of that? Oh, the Valentine got him. Give us one more. 12 kills, my god. Not interested in you. Play now. E40. Okay, swamp protected. That's not ideal. You just get hit by a long 80. Well, short 80. Yeah, that's it. Game over. Alright. That wasn't too bad. Okay, fields of Normandy. I want to head over to A and just tank as many shots as I can, really. I want to see what's here that can really mess us up. Like, easily. I'm willing to bet Russian 57 will have no issue. 
and still the German 75 should be able to pen us as long as it's a decent shot but when we're returning fire we are still kind of deadly with a 75 it's not as good as it used to be just because of German track armor and the uh, Russians curvy armor so well we'll find out I guess it should just be an all out brawl Fives coming with me a lot of chaffies something's here already so it's either an R3 or it's a Puma it could be a BT R3 I'm worried about just because it will pick my parser pack apart sorry i.e. barrel tracks etc there's this cheeky little scrub uh huh that's my bad shot my gun is elevating and stuff on its own which is kind of annoying there we go just because we were aiming at that building oh no now we're okay the R3 is here though yep, yep that'll be him okay my barrel's definitely damaged now something's still on here? yeah he's right here I think on the edge of this house got so some friendlies pushing up though was that an enemy that shot me or? yeah it was Oh, that's a broom bear. Is that a broom bear? Yes, it is. Go for the obvious shot. There he goes. There's still somebody on the cap. <laughs> There's still somebody here. Oh, what is that? A Churchill? Oh, hands a foot. A broom bear should have killed me. That's not fair. Whatever happened. That uh, Brimbers HE should have done me more damage than it did. Oh, we got killed by a KV1. Oh, he's on the back side of the cap. My teammates just drove past him. <laughs> well, there you go. That's exactly where he is. We got hit in our side weak spot as well. At least he knew where he shoot us. Okay, P47 time. So, I've made a mistake. And I just noticed as I was spawning in. I've got a salt fuse on my bombs. Is that a... Is that a P8? I think it is actually. This man's a lunatic. No, I know what that is. That's the Italian thing. With a cannon on it. Uh, a barrage balloon. Almost. We have a fair bit of armament on this thing. Be pretty careful with it. Stuka, maybe? I'll be careful he doesn't hit my engine. I think I just killed his pilot. Right, okay. Let's drop some bombs. Oh, there's a flag bus down here, too, actually. I really need to be careful with these, though. I don't want to be too low to the ground when I let them go off. Oh, hold on. Double kill, hopefully. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> yeah, that did it. There's a verbal wind fire now as well. I tell you what, we might make it back to the airfield if I nurse this bag. Yeah, you definitely need a salt fuse. Two planes, though, and two vehicles that I could have killed with just 50 cows and not have blown all the bits off my aircraft. Should be able to land it. Uh, well, I don't know if I should drop this bomb. I'll probably hurt myself even more. We're gonna have to put our gear out last second because if I slow down any further than I am now, I'm holding my hold my A key as hard as I can, really, just to keep us in level flight. So, the more I slow down, the more we're going to start rolling to the right-hand side. 
Right, let's get our gear down. Oh no. Hmm. Oh no, I don't think I put my gear out in time. No, I think we're okay actually. And cut the roll. Come on. There we go. Um, we still got a bit of lift. We're still okay though. <laughs> we're still okay. <laughs> Come on, slow down. Slow down. <laughs> oh god. And we're safe. <laughs> Oh my god. I don't even know how I did that, really. I tried talking you guys through the process like I knew I was doing, but I'll be honest with you, I had no clue. We need to put more pressure on the enemy. They're winning. Okay, coming back over the battlefield. We've got a particularly angry Wind on either side. Spawn now. A BTR there as well. I gotta get some decent altitude to drop these so I don't damage myself. Enemy forces have captured a zone. Oh, we're getting some backup with a B-34. Right, C cap is being capped by us. A cap's getting decapped. There's one guy driving there right now, two actually. So we're gonna head on over there. Unless whatever's on this B cab needs help. Although he does have a medium tank heading his way. Friendly boy. I can see the thing on the corner of the barn. There's three guys on B. Let's try and get rid of whatever's on A here. Although we do have two SPAs firing at us. Well, not at me right now. Two guys here? Two KV-1s. Okay, bombs are out. They're bad bombs, unfortunately. Only got the one. I think I split the difference, so I could possibly kill both. <laughs> this verbal one is gonna get me though, no doubt. Is this guy gonna die? KV-2? Should probably help this guy. Ugh. Okay, I just hurt myself again. And still no bueno on the tank who are bombing. He's still alive, KV2. <laughs> wow. What a chunk. Two verbal wins, I'm dead. Okay, got this guy's gonna. BTR? And a verbal. I'm glad it was you, BTR. I'm glad it was you. Still got one KV-1 left up in A. It's a low shot. Hopefully he turns this way though. Oh, he's still facing that direction. I don't know why he would do that. Here comes our KV-1S. KV Undamaged. Poor Stuart didn't stand a chance. I'm just gonna keep lobbing rounds at this guy as we move up. We can get his turret cheek, but it's gonna have to be a particularly decent shot. Oh, we got a stewardess pushed up behind him. <laughs> the decapping. Nice job, dude. We're equal on caps again, thanks to that guy. That would have been a real problem if he didn't show up. Oh, well done, man. Okay, we got... KB1 bullying... Or Chaffee. No, he's capping the point again. Off of there, dude. He's gonna be a really annoying tank to kill. And he can shoot me and kill me. If he knows where he's aiming, that is. He's full reverse out of there. Oh no, beads decapped. No, well, the game is over, unfortunately. There's nothing we can do about that. Enemy. 
terrible shot by me. There we go. Much better. Why did my crosshair just go off to the right there? Very strange. Can I get one last kill? Something's coming this way though. There we go. That'll do me. I'm happy enough now. Spaghetti wind. And a verbal wind. And a BTR. <laughs> oh, 12 kills, 14! In a way I'm kind of glad I got to relive the experience in the T14. I don't think I did it too much justice on the last video I did. It was one of my earlier ones and my editing skills weren't as good, commentary etc. So yeah, it's been a nice little break just to take this thing out. And for the P47, ah, this thing is just gorgeous dude. I love flying it, it's pretty cool. I did take it out into Air RB to try and get some of the components for it, but once I got it into Ground RB, yeah, it's definitely a P47 for sure. But there's something much nicer about flying the Razorback version. And of course the bomb load and the other armament options that we have for this thing are pretty nice. I will definitely cover this in a video in the very near future. So make sure to subscribe. I upload videos every single day to YouTube. I also stream on Twitch regularly. Saturday is our viewer day, so if you want to hop in a squad with me and maybe a couple other friends, you're more than welcome to do that. Anyway, that's us done for today. Thank you guys very much for watching. Much love and bye-bye.